I tell you, in this episode, Guide to Cheap Living, we're gonna sh- this will probably care to say, uh, the kind that, uh, engage in, say, uh, engage in, say, shooting, like target practice. Or say, those who are hunt or shoot out in the field or so. Like if you buy, if you want to get uh, tra- if you want to uh, practice with uh, trap birds, like if you shoot trap, whatever, or skeet, or say you like to shoot trap or so for practice. That's where you can get trap birds uh, for cheap if you're a hand thrower. Like if you know a, a trap range or so. And just got and just look for trap birds like these, like those that uh, the shooters uh, miss, can't hit. I'm sure enough people can't hit the birds. I've seen people hit very little. Hit very little or so. Hit very little. Hit very little trap birds. Some would probably can't even hit anything. Hit, hit anything on the squad. I've seen that happen. And figure if you go to trap range and you see people miss uh, birds, you might be lucky and find uh, tons of birds like these, or any, of, any kind. Some might be green colored or whatever. But they'd be all the way out beyond the trap ranges. So you can see beyond that range. Where you have to find them. If you just look carefully and see uh, birds that, uh, like I'm t- mentioned, I hit birds. Like a few chips, so you can't put them in a trap machine anymore. In there. <laughs> Fifteen birds. Maybe I can start right there. If they want some, go ahead, they can have them. If they throw on some, they can feel free to. Just an example there. Another money saving tip could be, say, if you uh, go to your local farm, like if you're a hunter, like you're into hunting or target shooting with, say, rifles or handguns, and you want to uh, handle an ammunition. Just simply go to your local firing range. You might simply find casings on the ground. Casings on the ground, like these. For example, some ammunition, like if, uh, and this is like all, uh, garbage picked literally out of the fucking garbage can at times. Or I just found them on the range, or it was like on, say on the range. Like these are like uh, nine by nineteen millimeter. Like thirty eight special mixture of say thirty eight special high pressure, three fifty seven magnum, and these are just very types of rifle casings. Some here too I found. Like uh, today, this is like uh, interesting. Sure, this may look like a. Uh, 223 Remington brass, but it's not. It's actually military 5.56 five, five, by 4.5 millimeter. 
See the markings on here? There's like dents on these casings too. I don't mean anything. Sure, you might see dents on these casings. See yeah, it? This is damage. I tell you, if you if you go to a firing range when nobody's shooting, you find any casings out there. Regardless of if they're made like say, regardless of made out of brass, aluminum, steel, get picked up and removed off the range. That's just to prevent damage to lawn mowing equipment. If say ranges have to be mowed or so, that's a, that's like at outdoor ranges. Like for say rifle and sh uh, handguns. A little bit of a nice example there. You're probably asking, like uh, these damaged uh, shell casings. Or some shell, shell casings, like uh, if they cannot be reloaded. If they're, if they're like say, it's a good apply to say, shell casings that are worn out and old. Or casings like this are damaged. All you have to do is, just, like what it just takes, is just uh, get enough of them st uh, stacked, uh, saved up or so. Get enough of them or so. Like, say, enough to, say, make up, say, at least 20 pounds or so. Or more. I say 30, I say go for, say, in excess of 30 pounds. And then just hold them away to your local recycling center and uh, make some money. It's not worth it unless you uh, take thirty pounds. Unless you take at least twenty pounds down here. That's if you can get a minimum of one dollar a pound. The concept of garbage picking could also apply to uh, shotgun hauls. So, sure, like this uh, Premier STS uh, haul. Is it right there, Premier STS. You can tell this has been hand loaded multiple times. Yeah. Other types too. These type uh, manufactured by Remington is a one piece. It may look like uh, not unreusable, but in reality, they're actually one piece designs. Like these uh, shotgun holes manufactured by Remington. I'm sure, the bases might be uh, brass or metal. But I did discover that these are not definitely uh, loadable. Just don't get them wet because they can rust the fuck. They can rust out very quickly, very easily. Oh, and you're about that. And then he's then he got the uh, Winchester Double A. These are only kind of manufactured by Winchester. They are reloadable. Everything else is just uh. You might start thinking. You should buy, uh, thinking our federal our ammunition manufactured by federal reloadable. Well, not just not their shot shells. Absolutely not. You can look very carefully. It's like if you cut them in half, you'd probably see that there's paper, and you're like cardboard or whatever. Absolutely, and I don't even figure. But even you could still you could still get these uh take these just remove these or so and save on the disposal costs. All you have to just do is draw a hole in them, like there. Draw a tool, draw a hole on each side, or I'll use scissors, and I can make a good uh, ornament. That could probably be a good idea for a future episode on uh, cheap Christmas decorations. That'd be an ideal future episode. Something else you should know, like I kind of get, uh, like say ammunition, cheaply. Like sometimes you might get ammunition like this. These are like uh, jacketed soft points. They're both 357 Magnum. But they look like the primers, like say like. 
misfires. Well, you can find misfires on the firing range. If you do find misfires on the firing range, get them off the firing range. Get them, get them uh, picked up off the firing range for uh, safety reasons. And if and then check the casings very carefully. Cause if there's no dents in it, like uh, there's a nine millimeter NATO casing. You might find completely intact uh, nine by nine standard nine by nineteen millimeter casings. Right, right there. Or various types of uh, calibers, even rifle casings. Sometimes even shot shells, like this uh, is a 16 gauge. Load. I just found this on the uh, firing range, so maybe in the garbage can. Uh, like found this, and this ended up being garbage picked. I've been a waste of good ammunition. That probably been a safety hazard for. Uh, Wait for the uh, sanitation workers, or sometimes people might just give you stuff for free. So I got these uh, two shells, just for show. Yeah, sometimes you might fire, like say, sure, you might find uh, misfired uh, shot shells. You might fire them in your uh, gun in a in a fire uh, normally. Might happen to me, somebody, like say, some years ago. I'll trap string some people probably had a uh, a misfired uh, sh shot shell manufactured by a wolf. <laughs> this is like so interesting. They said they fi they tried firing it, they tried firing it twice and it didn't go off. I don't know what possessed me to put the uh, load in the gun. Figure maybe a future trap uh, some trap string event happened after that. I load in the gun and I aim it. And then, and, then, and then the round fires and hits the bird. It hits the bird. Like if you're looking for uh, boxes to store your ammunition in that you hand load, there's one way you can get them cheaply. Do the same methods, garbage picking. Like your firing range, like you say, boxes of your handguns. Or say types for your shot shells. These boxes manufactured by Remington, you can actually uh, conceal them. You can get individual five round boxes. Like if you're uh, taking spare ammunition with you. Like if you trap shoot or skeet shoot, whatever, and you need spare ammunition. Boxes like these are very useful for storing spare ammunition. Sure, like. Like types for uh, more shot shells, even for rifle casings. All that could be caught, could be obtained through garbage picking. Like if they find if they find you find the shit in the garbage can, take it. It's more environmentally friendly if you're keeping shit out of the landfills. No, it saves local gun saves any local gun club uh any disposal costs. <laughs> I'd say you can get shit like this for free. I know I have. We can pretty much consider this video uh done.